Hey YouTube, Auto here. Uh, I'm making this video because someone requested pictures for the inside of the attack cruiser. It never occurred to me that I never kind of showed you guys the final ship. Um, you can really customize the inside of your ship however you want. Uh, I will show you how I did this one. And just to break down real quick before I dive in, someone else mentioned, you know, uh, the main differences between the uh, Javelin and the attack cruiser. Um, eventually, I'm going to change the name of the attack cruiser. It's going to get a real name, but right now it's still being called that. Okay, the biggest difference is the attack cruiser kept the default six medium cannons across the sides. Okay, it does use its gun ports. Okay, and so and it got the heavy cannons uh, in the back with two mediums, and it got the um, there you go. You have a heavy front end. Okay, you've got twelve large cannons in the front end. Okay. Um, the noses and stuff are the same. Even their bodies look similar. But here's the thing. Because of the way they had to be built and the inside of the other ship needed more structuring for the broadsides. Um, and this one, it doesn't need all that. And so what I did is the attack cruiser has got a double layer of armor around pretty much the entire ship except for the very, very front nose. Okay. Um... And so it even has quad if you go one, two, three, four right there across the rear. All right, and you can notice the lines here. They're totally different in the back than that one. That one's all sleeked out and domed off. But this one has got, you know, a second layer of body lines here. It's all armored in. It's got two layers all the way across the side. And you've got the very same rear end here. Okay, this is just a rear end I stuck with. You can do the rear end a variety of ways, but I kept it this way because I like it to, like this. I think it looks a whole lot more sleeker and appealing aesthetically than a lot of other ones that I've messed with. <coughs> okay, so those are the main differences, really, guys. Um, inside, you can do whatever you want, but the attack cruiser is going to have a lot more armor, okay, than the Javelin. The Javelin gave up some armor for just hellacious DPS, Okay, that thing will pretty much shred almost anything it comes up to. Um, I was trying to think of the other ships. Even in another armored brig, if it's not matching DPS with that, it will destroy it. Um, the main thing is, especially when you're ship-to-ship -ship fighting, I see a lot of guys doing this, but when you're fighting someone and you know they're going to go down, back out of their cannon range. Don't stay within range for them to repeatedly just keep shooting you. Um, tons of people, you guys are taking tons of extra damage out there. You're losing whole planks. Um, you're even getting your ship in dangerous situations to possibly be in sunk because you're sticking around too long. Um, if you know the guy's going to go down, and how do you know he's going to go down? When he goes several minutes without repairing any planks, when it's already leaking like crazy, he's going down. Okay? When you've got a sail gone and he's not replaced it for quite some time, you know he probably doesn't have another one. All right? It's just a matter of time then. Don't hang around. Get out of there. Get out of his cannon range. You don't need to take extra damage. Okay, so let's dive down here. Both of them have the rear entrance here. Um, I like this. Um, we don't exit here a lot. You can. You can walk down your sides here and then up around the back and then hop off. You know, whatever. Um, but I like it because it covers the rear and the ladder comes straight up there. And I think it access is very fine. Uh, also, guys, another design... Um, point to note on these ships I do not put the cannons in the far far back um, if you've ever gone whale hunting whales love to slam ships okay and a lot of times the area that takes the most damage is the rear end okay the very rear end okay I'm talking like these last two tiles areas here and so I don't put a whole lot of crucial stuff back there um, in any of my builds because the rear end sometimes will get totally knocked off. You'll lose planks and, and floorboard pieces inside and and so I keep stuff back. I keep my cannons back so that they're protected. Um, especially like NPC, ships of the damn ghost ship, stuff like that. When they target you, they target like your center area of your ship, your sails. And a lot of times when you're running, um, it'll be the rear end of your ship that's taking damage. Well, I, I made this this way on purpose. It's to protect the cannons. It's, to put, it's just to take a little bit more of that damage off of your cannons and more towards the rear end of the ship. Um, that's why I do not put the cannons in the far rear. Um, okay, so that's the rear end. Let's dive down. You come down in here. I'm, I'm flying, but you can walk down in here. Come down in here. And notice, I painted these blue. Okay? Uh, now, I have another quick access down to the bottom right there, but... Okay, so here we go. 
Um, I painted these blue because that's just the color theme on this ship. Um, but I always paint inside the ship. I always paint these floor pieces, so whatever the primary color of the ship is. And I do that methodically because when your ship takes damage and takes heavy hits from whales and um, PvP stuff or ships of the dam, these are the areas you need to check the most. Okay, now we all know you can check the main deck here anywhere, right? You can run all over the main deck here and check it. But these areas you have to check one by one, and I don't want to ever miss them. And so this shows me exactly where they're at without, at, without uh, error. And I can just run up, boom, 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 check them, done. Jump down here, boom, 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 check it, done. Okay, and so that's why I always paint them. I paint them in the back, I paint them in the front, I paint them in the top, I paint them in the bottom. Um, that way I know exactly where they're at. Um, and I'm sure you guys heard in the other videos, these are painted red because they are structurally critical. Okay, so you, you paint them red like that, I do, so that I always remember when it comes repair time to make a sweep of the ship to see what needs repaired. I always make sure I'm checking my structural main important pieces. I'm checking all my floor areas that are painted, including these here that are above you. That's the floor for the cannons up there. I check those. I check these here. The area in the back of the cannons. I check the area even in the front sometimes. It just depends on how the ship's built. Okay, so you come in here. Um, this is your ramp to go up. This has been changed in, in future builds. I changed this now. This actually is built differently, this back deck. It drops down with a, a short um, staircase, and then it goes right into there. So I don't run quad or I don't run triple ramps back here anymore. I only run one. Um, but in this ship, that's how it is for now. Okay, we got ramps going up there. Um, here it is again. Here's the floors that went down. They're all painted, so I know how to check them there. How, although on the brig, these this is a lot more important um, checking your floors and stuff like that on the schooners. Schooners are so small when a cannonball hit, it has a small AOE. Well, a schooner is so small that when a ship or when a cannonball explodes on the outside of the ship, if it's hitting armor or something, it also causes damage inside the ship because schooners are so narrow and small. On a brig, you don't have that problem. A cannonball can explode out there on the armor and it never touches anything inside here. So that I like that a lot. Um, it really cuts down all the repair time. Uh, the schooner was a nightmare to repair. Um, okay, so also notice here, uh, on this rare build, I actually put the bed up on the deck here. I don't do that all of them, but on this one I did. Um, cannonballs are here. I put it central. I usually put it here, or sometimes I'll put it down in here. Uh, I'll put it down in here in between two cannons. It can fit in between any of these cannons right here, fine. What you'll notice, okay, and is notice even the cabinet, the bed, the ammo box, the resource box, none of it is sitting on a floorboard that's got 5K health. It's all sitting on the official, you know, heavy duty HP deck. And I do that on purpose. I do that because. I've, a few times I've lost pieces from decks being blown out, and I've also seen tons of other people lose vitally important stuff because, you know, the maybe armor blew off or they didn't even have armor, their deck just got hit, and where they put their regular floor pieces, um, the floors got blown out, and then next thing you know, oh, look, we lost all our ammo. Oh, none of our cannons will fire. Why? Because the floor that you had the cannonballs on blew out. Right? Oh, why can't I repair the ship? Oh, your resource box that was sitting over there on the floor piece, it got blown out. So now all your resources are sitting on the deck of your ship, you know, down in the bottom in a little suitcase. So I, that's why I never put anything important on these low health uh, floor pieces. So, okay, so this is where you can see the inside here of the first, first deck area here. All the guys are lined up. It's all clean, neat in here. Um, there's your, cab there's your, cab your uh, cabinet for the captain and stuff. Um, there's your bed, um, you know, ammo box, and you guys, you know, you can change all this, modify, you want more beds, put more beds, you know, um, there's plenty of pieces, um, for you to be able to use, and if you need more pieces, what I recommend is pull it off the front nose, a lot of that up in the front nose of the ships is just there for style, okay, it's just to go with the rest of the aesthetic sleekness of the ships, and so what I do is I pull it off the front nose, and you'll see another ship out here before I'm done with this video, I'll show you, um, I was able to get a double double armor javelin grade guns uh, in the same ship. Okay, so it's pretty much the attack cruiser and the javelin put together as one. Um, that I was able to get that out of another ship. And, but in that one, I had to pull the pieces off the front nose. 
Okay, here's an emergency container, you know. It's got gun ports. It's got another cabinet in it because I didn't really need it yet. You know, repair hammers, repair buckets, uh, spyglass, grappling hooks. Your typical stuff you could, should have in all your ship cabinets. Um, that way you can access, you know, you have a crewman that runs to a ship cabinet. Because it's an emergency, you want them to be able to grab emergency goods. Same thing down here. Uh, that's a default on all my ships. Uh, I don't want my guys running all over the place trying to hunt down where stuff's at. All right, and this one is very clean in here. Um, on the javelin I built on official, I have all kinds of stuff on it, man. I have, uh, what is it? I have room for an, uh, a tanner, a loom, a um, the forge. I have a blacksmith on it. I have um, uh, preserving bags. Uh, you know, I have, a, uh, I have a grill. Just tons of stuff. It just depends on how you want to build out the inside. Okay, so this is really simple. And I try to put the emergency box on the very lowest end right by the down ramp so that it's very quick access. Okay, and there's a preserving uh, larder for the rest of the crew. Um, that's not on official. That's actually a mod, but I wish they would add that to official. I think everything that food goes in should be able to be preserved. Um, preserving bags, larders, even the troughs for the animals. You should be able to put preservers in there. Uh, that way you're not... You know, the game becomes so much of a grind, you start losing the fun because all you're doing is grinding and running around and checking everything to make sure it's all, you know, filled up. That could be helped a lot if they just make it all preserving. You wouldn't have to run around and check all the food. So here you can see, here's the emergency one. It's very hard to miss. It's right there at the end of the ship right here. Um, but it's not all the way here in the back. And I kept it from being all the way up here in the, in the back because I didn't want something to happen to it if, you know, something hit the rear end of the ship real hard. Um, there's the floor painted, all the cans painted blue, just to go with the, you know, the theme of the ship. Um, this one I painted like an aqua color, the body. I like to paint the bodies different colors, just for a little, you know, variety. Usually I paint, it's interesting, usually I paint these, these ceiling rafters the same color that I make the, the body, either that or the upper rail. And these ones down here I usually paint too. Yeah, I didn't do this one. It's probably, I think this was one of the earlier designs, that's why those didn't get painted. Okay. So there you go. You can see what it looks like in the attack cruiser. Um, it's very clean. And I didn't put pieces here because it's just a waste. Like, you don't need them. Those are pieces you need to use somewhere else. And so I left it wide open like that. I actually like it, too, because then I can see exactly what's going on down here. And if I need to access down there, I don't always have to drop down the ramp. If I need to access down here because I got a panel or something blown out, I can just drop down through the floor, boom, and run over and tap, 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 you know, fix it. And so I like to leave that wide open. And sometimes I'll even leave this one wide open. It just depends on, you know, what's going on, how many pieces I've used, stuff like that. Okay, we'll run up to the... What do we got here? <laughs> he wants to be a part of the build. <laughs> See here, there's no cannons up here, so we could do this. So we got doubled up armor across the entire ship. I mean, she's mega, mega defended as far as armor goes. Okay, let's go over here to the front. Even the front pillars here with the cannons and everything, they're all double armored. Everything is. And that was what was really nice about this one. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> My little guys right here. So, yeah, here. Uh, let's zoom out some here. Oh. What do we got? Wrong button. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. So here, this front nose covered like this, it's just aesthetics. You don't even have to put those there. And they're triangles. So triangles burn a lot of pieces very fast because they're so small. So right there, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right there's 12 pieces you can save. Right? So if you need them somewhere else, those don't have to be there. I mean, all they're covering is a deck mostly down there. And a lot of times in the front of the ship, I in the other builds... Um, man, i got to fix that. That's annoying me. There we go. That's what I'm used to. Tab. So I can hit it with my left hand. Okay. So a lot of times I don't even put a walkway here. I'll cover this all up. And this just gets painted so that I know where it's at. So I know how to repair it. But this front nose piece and all. A lot of times it's just covering your main deck and your floor piece there. Those don't have any more HP than these floor pieces. And the deck has way more HP than they do. So they're just there aesthetically. You know, you can pull them out and use those pieces somewhere else. Cover up your front nose if you don't need to use it for something. And then uh, you can save those pieces for elsewhere. 
because this actually, what does it use? Actually, it's the same number of pieces because your ramp used one and your floor piece going here would use one. So if you need it access accessible, put the ramp. If you don't, don't. Um, some of you guys are going to want to save some of your pieces because you're going to want to, any of these down ramp areas, like if you do this, the rest of the ship is secure as long as those outer doors are shut. But right here, you're going to want to put a uh, angled wall here, uh, a doorway there, and a door. That's three pieces and another angle. So that's four pieces you're going to want in order to secure this so someone can't just enter the front end, um, you know, in a PvP environment. So let's see what we got here. All right. All right, and that's it. I mean, that was the that's the main differences between the attack cruiser and the javelin. The javelin doesn't have as much armor along its sides, um, but it has a lot more DPS. Uh, those side guns put out way more DPS than these these six mediums. Um, the attack cruiser is lighter though, uh, so maybe if you want something who's heavily armored but still a lot of guns, maybe the attack cruiser is a better option for you. However, I didn't put out a video on the math on the attack cruiser, but I can tell you right now it's lighter. Okay, it's going to be several hundred pounds lighter uh, because you're not running all those super heavy guns right there that the javelin's running across the side. You're just running mediums here. And this one's even lighter still when you've got the gun ports shut. You know, you really only need your gun ports open when you're engaging. Um, and if you're not going to be using the attack cruiser for a fast, a fast attack craft. So when you engage someone, you open your gun ports, you're going to get heavier, so you're going to slow down a little bit more. Um, and it may, depending on the weight of your ship, you may push yourself over your 80 percentile. But it's not a huge deal because a ship can still maneuver fully um, if it's at or above the 80 percentile sum. Uh, it's not going to sail fast, but it can be maneuvered. And then if you need to, close the gun ports to get yourself rolling again if you need to, say, moving. Um, but odds are, if you're in the attack cruiser, you chose it because it's lighter. So that's, you know, that's pretty the prime. That's, it's lighter and it has more armor. Uh, those are the two greatest attractions from the attack cruiser to the javelin. Um, now this one back here that you can see in the middle of the screen. Uh, let's see here. Right there. You can see that. That is a javelin. That's what I call a heavy, a heavy javelin. Um, it has double armor across both sides. All the way and triple in the back corner. That whole back quadrant has got triple. Same rear end as these other ones, same front end, except the front clip. Notice the front clip is gone. The front clip was gone, so I could finish up the double armor across the rest of the entire ship. And so if you're looking for something that has the armor of an attack cruiser, but the DPS output of a javelin, that's, that's it right there. Alright guys, like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, do what you want. I'll see you in the next one.